Cameron for Tweak Town, back for another video. I'm here at the Gigabyte headquarters in one of the labs. Um, we've got High Cooker here. He's doing some overclocking on this board, and it is the Z77X UP7. Um, this board, we saw at Computex, it wasn't quite ready. Now it is, it's going to be shipping really soon. This board um, has an orange theme, as you can see, that means that it's an overclocking board. It has a lot of features on here that I've just been introduced to that are for overclockers, the extreme overclockers. It's designed to offer very high-end performance, especially for those that are looking to break records. Um, high cookie here is cooling down the CPU now, so he's adding LN2 to the block now. And that's going to drop the temperature down. You can see Gigabyte U EFI BIOS here. At the moment, the CPU is at minus 20. It's going to go down to... Hi Cookie, what temperature do you want the CPU to go down to? Uh, the TAC is minus uh, 188. 188? Yeah. Okay. And, well, I mean, while, while you're cooling down the CPU, can you tell us about some of the, the overclocking features of this board? What, what makes it a good overclocking motherboard? Okay, the first is uh, CPU power because we use the uh, the IR, a phase, the digital PWM, and uh, also drive the, the 6M uh, MOSFET. So the totally, we have a uh, 32 phase on this UEP7, and uh, in theory, it can deliver near to 2,000 amps. So if you times two volt, they will give you near to 4,000 watts. Yeah. Okay, and I noticed uh, this this slot here is black. Yes. Is it, does, is, does this slot do something special? Sure, yeah. Because this black slot, the, uh, the, the PCI is direct from the CPU, so it will reduce the latency if we just want to do the single car. That's because it bypasses the PLX bridge, right? Yes, yes. So yeah, I think it's important to remember this board is, I guess it's kind of like a Formula 1 car. Every little piece of performance you can get, Gigabyte is looked at, and this is important when it comes to breaking world records. What are, what are some other features of the motherboard? Yes, because those two main features, like a, like a four-way PLX and the uh, additional black slots, also the 32 phase. So make this board needed to be tamed there. So this board is the uh, only one Z77 uh, that have a tamed there PCB. 10 layer PCB. Yes, and it, on, and, it, and on the bottom corner, you can see we have a debug LED here. And then here have a two switch. The, the first one is for the switch to the main BIOS or uh, Back a BIOS, mm -hmm. so you can use this switch to switch which one BIOS you want to use, and then the other one is uh, to disable the dual BIOS function. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes you, you don't want to use the second BIOS to call up the main BIOS, so you can disable it. Okay. Cool. And uh, overclocking um, buttons here as well. Power button. Yes. This is a, this is check the voltage, right? Yes, yes. The, we have a module for the checking the voltage, mm -hmm. and uh, here we have a OC touch, and we have a, we can uh, real time change the multiplier even in the OS, and the BIOS, and uh, those three buttons to adjust the bit clock, so you can push the buttons to get up the uh, bit clock frequency, and uh, also gear. They have a gear function. It's it's make you to switch the one megahertz or zero point one megahertz. Okay. Yes. And the the what memory speeds have you been able to achieve on this on this board? Uh, right now we are uh, we are focused on the stability, like uh, like uh, taking down the records. So we make, we make we need to make sure this board can can and uh, very stable with a twenty eight hundred case nine or case eight. Okay. Yes. That's very good. Okay, so, well, okay, we're still at. We've we had High Cookie talking too much. We're still at minus twenty. But it should no. drop. The temperature should drop pretty quickly, right? Yeah, because oh no, uh, okay. Is it, the BIOS went to go to yeah. minus twenty. Yeah, because the BIOS the temperature is from the CPU. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have a. Okay, we have the actual temperature here. So around. Oh, it's dropping really quickly. You can see here. So if this is Celsius, of course. Um, we're getting close. 
Who doesn't like LN2 smoke? Yes. <laughs> and as soon we are here, the LN2 gonna be very loud. Once it approaching to the minus 160, it will be very loud. Yeah, I think you guys are gonna hear it on camera now. Let me move back so I can see can put more in there. Camera's having a hard time focusing. Yes. Okay, now it's back. And the, and in the corner we have a small switch we call it LN2 mode. It's uh, helping you to uh, like run in the benchmark and you want to quickly drop the frequency to uh, get the screenshot and then you can go back like a, like a right now in the bias is 4.2 gigahertz right so if you switch okay let's have a look so now it's 4.2 and if you and if you change this now it's dropped to 1.78 and this is just to man maintain stability to grab a screenshot yes and i know that's important because well you need to prove sometimes you need to prove the result and sometimes at overclocking competitions and such yes you need to provide a screenshot yes yeah so now we're at, well, okay, we're at 180. I th did, you said 185? 188. 188, yeah. 188. That's, yeah. The, that's the temperature Haikuk is going for. Obviously, he's done some pre-testing before. Adding some more LN2 here. Yes. And Oops. now I need to rise uh, a little bit more beat clock. Okay. Give it to the 110. Then I go to the OS to so the CPU so frequency. It's fine tuned. So you've said yeah. you said it's the big clock to one ten in the bias, and now you do the rest of the overclocking in yes. Windows. Yes. Okay. So uh, hi, Cookie. What's happening now? We've got into Windows. What are you What are you trying to do now? Yes. The uh, right now um, attack is for the seven point one gigahertz, and now the the CPU temperature is uh, reached to the minus one eighty eight degree. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Yeah. And I've before I do the seven point one, I. I switch to the LN2 mode to enable because I want I don't want to generate too much heat before I before I get at the 7.1. Mm. So right now you're just sort of focusing on the overclocking. Yes. Um, now if you if you hit 7.1 gigahertz, I, that would be a world record, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The previous ones are 7090. Okay. Okay. So it's very easy. I just the open the CPU here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna quickly uh, switch the LN2 mode. Okay, so at the moment we're at 1.8 gigahertz. Okay. Okay, so just very briefly, we saw that we hit 7.1 uh, gigahertz uh, on the upcoming Gigabyte Z77X EP7. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and come back again soon for more video content from Tweaktown.